I'm always on the lookout for really cool tiling window managers to take a look at. And over the last year or so, I've taken a look at quite a few, and each one of them has a certain way of doing something interesting. So what I thought I'd do today is take a look at a brand new window manager that I just found called Barry WM. Now, I first discovered this on Jake at Linux's YouTube channel. Go ahead and give him a subscribe. I'll put a link in the video description. But he did a video talking about Barry WM, and it just looked really interesting. So what I thought I'd do today is take a look at how to install this and how it's configured because it's actually configured very similar to BSPWM in that it uses a program to manipulate the windows. So, so if you're familiar with BSPWM, you've probably heard of BSPC before. And what BSPC does is it does all the work for BSPWM. It's even how the configuration file works. Barry is similar to that in that it has a program that manipulates the windows and so on and so forth in order to actually do the job of being a window manager. The differences between them is that BSPWM has a ton more features than Barry does, and Barry is actually much more minimal. So if you're searching for a very minimal window manager, Barry might be a good option for you. So what we're going to do today is install it and take a first look at it. So let's go ahead and jump in. Now here we are in just a stock standard version of Ubuntu. Now I've decided to do Ubuntu because the instructions for the installation for Barry actually point you towards Ubuntu first. So I decided just to do it in Ubuntu. Now, if you are using a different distribution, Barry is in the AUR. They also have packages for Void, Kiss Linux, and several others, as long as, and they also have a Debian package if you wanted to install it through a Debian package. But I've decided to just build it the old fashioned way. So that means we're gonna have to install the dependencies, make sure we have some programs installed and so on and so forth. So the first thing we'll do here is bring up their website. We'll wait for the snap package to load of Firefox, which takes forever. Still waiting. Still waiting. Thank you. Oh, there we go. And people wonder why I don't like snaps. So we'll just do Barry Window Manager. And here we go. Here's the website and we'll get to installation first. So we're going to open up a terminal. So first we're going to need some programs. So I'll zoom in here sudo apt install sxhkd We're, I'm going to need kitty I'm going to need uh, vim because vim is not installed on Ubuntu by default we're going to need git and I think that that's it so we'll do that enter our password and wait for that to install shouldn't take very long now we're going to also need to create an x profile file so we'll do touch dot x profile and we'll change the We'll make that executable, chmod plus x, and then x profile, and then we're going to vim into x.xprofile, and we'll do this. So, uh, so first we'll put a put shebang, so like this, slash bin slash bash, and then usually they have this, like this here, dot x, x profile, and then sxhkd dash C and then we're gonna do tilde slash dollar sign home slash dot config slash Barry slash SX HKDRC that file doesn't actually exist yet but it will here in a minute so we'll do an, an end there so it keeps running and right and quit that now that's done clear that now it's time to actually install Barry so so what we're gonna do first is install the dependencies for very Barry so sudo apt install lib x11 dev and then lib xft dev and lib zinorama dev okay and we'll install those hit yes and there we go now that that's installed we can actually download and make the package actually before we can download berry there's one more thing we have to do and that's do sudo apt install build essential and that will make sure we have make installed because otherwise make wouldn't work because it's not installed. Now that that's installed, we can go ahead and clone the repository. So we're going to copy this line here. Control C, Control Shift V, CD into Barry, which is the file that it was cloned into. And we'll run make and sudo make install. And that's done there. Now the last thing we have to do well, actually, there's two more things we have to do. So we have to copy over the, the example configuration file. So we're going to cd 
we're gonna make directory uh, dollar sign we'll just do tilde slash we don't have to do dollar sign home uh, dot config and then bury and then we're going to copy this line here this is going to copy the default configuration file for sxhkd into the proper place there and I'm gonna actually move my head out of the way actually I'm just gonna get rid of my head all the, all together off with this head there we go that's much better so the next thing we'll want to do is the next one here Control C here, do this one here, and if you're going to follow along with me, make sure you're in, still in the directory of Barry, which you downloaded through Git. Otherwise, those paths won't be correct, because you're copying from the examples folder, but it's not an absolute path. Now that that's done, we need to clear this and go into sleety slash user share x sessions. Now this only applies if you're using a display manager. If you're using something like Arch and you're just using an XNRC file, you don't need to do this. You could just do it in your XNRC file, do exec, bury, and that would work. But I'm using a display manager, D GDM in this case. So what I will need to do is add a entry for bury into my X sessions folder. So first sudo touch bury dot desktop and then we're going to uh, sudo and uh, vim into uh, berry.desktop and then we're going to scroll down here to the bottom and copy this i'm glad that they gave this all typed out so i don't actually type it out i can just copy and paste and add a couple extra spaces right and quit out of that now if i'm correct in my calculations i believe we can now log out of ubuntu or out of gnome here and into Barry itself so we can get a first look at what Barry looks like. Okay, so once you've installed Barry and you've logged out and logged back in, this is what you're going to get. And except for this part up here, which sometimes won't go away. It should go away now. Uh, that's just part of the vert manager thing. Uh, one thing I did have to do uh, between those jump cuts is go back into my .x profile and change this because I made a typo. Where I did tilde slash. I did something like this tilde slash uh, you probably noticed that when I was typing that earlier that's just me being a dumbass so uh, we'll make sure that that is uh, appropriate so this is what Barry looks like out of the box there's not much here there's not a wallpaper there's not a bar uh, there's nothing so super enter is the means to get to a terminal now there's one other thing that I forgot to install in order for us to actually do anything so we need to do sudo apt install d menu and uh, you have to actually spell that right, uh, otherwise it won't install, uh, obviously. Uh, seriously, spelling is uh, for other people, apparently. Um, so, once dmenu is installed, we can use dmenu to launch programs and so on and so forth. But first, Super M will take us full screen, and then I can get the uh, proper resolution here. And then what we're going to do is take a look at the sxhkd file. So I'm going to go into c uh, cd into .config berry and vim into sxhkdrc. So here are the default key bindings that you'll need to know. Super return is going to bring up your terminal. Now, why I installed kitty was because I prefer kitty. By default, urxvt has to be installed. If you don't have urxvt installed, it won't actually, ins you know, open up a terminal for you when you hit super return. So uh, either go into sxhkd before you enter Barry and change it to a terminal of your choice in this file here, or uh, install urxvt. Uh, Super D is going to bring up D menu and Super Escape will restart SXHKD if you've made changes to this file. Now, here's where Barry gets interesting. So, like I said at the beginning, Barry is very similar to BSPWM in that it has a terminal program that goes along with it that does basically all of the work for being a window manager. So, for BSPWM, it's BSPC. For Barry, it's Barry C. And Barry C will, just like you see here, do things to the windows. So super HJKL will move the windows up and down and so on and so forth. Uh, super shift and those will resize the windows and so on and so forth. If you want to use a more of a like a full screen tiling window manager thing, do super M, they'll take you into monocle mode. Super F will take you to full screen. Super N will get rid of the borders around the windows. And you can use super O to snap left, super P to snap right, super C to snap to the center. Those are almost literally all of the key bindings that they have. There's a couple other ones, so like super Q will quit, super tab will scroll through windows, 
and then it assigns a pointer focus to the button to the mouse button that's all of the key bindings it has by default very super minimal so if we get out of this here go into the actual configuration file which is called auto start it's just a bash script similar to bspwm again and this is what it does it will allow you to set the border whip width and the gaps it'll allow you to change the colors of the decorations which is the obviously the part here which you can obviously get rid of with control n and you can change a few other options so one of the things that we should do here is go to the second workspace, open up Firefox, wait for the snap to open for the first time, which takes forever. Go into full screen mode and we'll go back to Barry WM. And it actually has fairly good documentation. So there are a ton of other options that you can set up in order to do other things. So the documentation has a list of all the things that you can do. And it also has a list of several things you can use for Windows called internal states, which allow you to determine the state of a window that will then allow you to do things like script for certain situations. So that is also really cool. It's very much a reliant on you creating your own scripts to do certain things. And you can use Barry C in order to manipulate Windows in certain ways inside of a script that would then be all able to be assigned in SXHKD for a key binding. So let's just say we wanted to get rid of the title height. I'm very curious to see if we change this to zero if that just gets rid of it. So we'll write this. One thing I didn't see was how to actually restart Barry. Is there, I wonder if there's a way to do that. So normally super shift like R would restart it, but I didn't see anything like that in. So if we vim it, vim it, vim it back into SXHKDRC, and see if there's actually a key binding to restart Barry. I didn't see one. And I don't see a way to do that on their website either. But I'm, I wonder if there, it's in the man page. So if I open up another terminal here and do man after zooming in here, uh, Barry, and see if there's actually anything here to restart it. There doesn't appear to be anything else in the man page except for just this one, you know, block of text. Uh, either that or Vim's not allowing me to to scroll down. It, it says, it looks like there's something below this, so otherwise why would this be centered? But it doesn't appear to, and it says in their documentation here, all these commands can be viewed in, on your system via, oh, Barry C, that's what we need to go to. So quit this, man, Barry C, there we go, that's better. Oh yeah, much better. Let's see if there's anything here to restart. Otherwise we're going to have to log out and log back in. That'd be kind of annoying. As you can see that this is very, very minimal. It's not something I really noticed, but uh, you could script it so that it would behave like a tiling wind manager using Barry C. Stop the program, quit. All right, so I don't actually see a way to restart Barry C or restart Barry window manager. So we're just gonna do a, a log out here and uh, see if my change there actually made any, you know, changes. Uh, I'm sure there's probably a way and I'm just missing it. Yeah, so making that change actually did get rid of the title bar. So that's an interesting way of doing it. And it's kind of similar to what i3 does. In order to get rid of the title bar on i3, you have to set the border to nothing. So uh, if we go back into Barry here and then them into auto start again, these are the changes that you can make. There's, again, not a lot there. And it's... Not necessarily something that I would consider all that usable, but also it's not because that the features aren't really there. I have a feeling that the thing for restarting is probably there. Is you, you probably could add like a like a loop or something similar to what you would do with DWM if you wanted to in like your X and RC if you wanted to do something like that. And you can I wonder if you could just kill Barry C altogether if it would restart it. That might be a possibility for something to get to restart. The reason why I said it's not usable isn't because there aren't features that are available to you, but more because it's reliant upon you creating scripts to actually make it usable in your own way. Now, for me personally, it's not necessarily for me because I'm not a big floating window manager kind of guy, and I didn't see a way to, at least out of the box, set the window manager to default to the monocle mode automatically, and even that's not really tiling because it's just everything's going to open up full screen. So I'd have to go through and actually try to understand it a little bit more, but on a first look, I would say 
that if you're interested in a very, very minimal window manager, this is definitely an option for you. I'd definitely give it a try because it's one of the, a lot of the times with these smaller window managers, when you're trying to install them, they have something funky that has to happen or they're hard to get up and running or they're lacking features for multi-monitor or something like that. This one doesn't seem to have those problems. I saw several options for monitor configuration in the man page there. Uh, so I'm assuming that it would work fairly well with multiple monitors and Outside of that, the installation was really, really easy. Especially if you're on Arch, you could just do do uh, uh, yay s Barry, and it would install it for you. So that is Barry Window Manager. Again, go check Jake at Linux's YouTube channel out. He's getting really close to a thousand subscribers, so maybe we can bump him up just a little bit. If you have comments on this window manager, you can leave those in the comment section below. You can follow me on Twitter at LinuxCast. You can support me on Patreon at patreon.com slash LinuxCast. Before I go, I'd like to take a moment to thank my current patrons. Robert, Sid, Devon, Patrick, Fred Kramer, Maglin, Jack Sam, Tools, Steve A, Subregger, Linux, Garrick, Samuel, Mitchell, Art Center, Carbon Data, Jeremy, Sean, Odin, Martin, E, Vlad, Andy, Ross, Merrick, Camp, Josh, Lee, j Dog, Peter A, Crucible, Dark Ben, Six, and Primus. Thanks everybody for watching. I'll see you next time.